then it'll run favourite, the likely leader, set to run. Ready to go. Off and racing, and Honey's End jump cleanly. Good speed out, Militant Storm, and they're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe early. So Militant Storm now headed by Honey's End, who came across to lead. The margin a length and a half early, and around them, Dane Tree Pedro starts to make ground. Then Destini Rebel, Aston Gozo runs on from the back from Mosley. Magic Destroyers at the end. Honey's End led. Militant Storm trying to come back. They've kicked three lengths to Dane Tree Pedro, and Aston Gozo runs on late. Honey's End, the leader, kicked off the corner, holding Militant Storm, and Honey Zen, if anything, drew clear late. Really impressive. Honey Zen won at two and a half and ever extending two and a half to Militant Storm. Third Dane Tree Pet Row. Then Destini Rebel, Aston Gozo, mostly and Magic Destroyer. Time around 30 and 26. Had to work in the run around that first corner. So it's been a, a good win. Number three first, Honey Zen, daughter of Barsha Bale. Indy Honey had the speed to zip across and find the lead, crossing Militant Storm who hasn't shirked the issue, kept on responding, runs second, Fernando Bale, Militant Spirit, Ken Hunt at Eagle Hawk, and uh, third across the line will go the way of the green, Dane Tree Pedro, who's been in good form these last couple of starts, son of Feral Frankie, Whistling Bullet, raced by the Lucky 11 Syndicate, Gary Joski at Yinar. So three, one, six, eight numbers, 30 and 25 was the time, and the interim numbers, three, one, six and eight, 30 and 25 was the Gallop on race number six.